Do you guys recognize this place? So we've come a long way from the first day of working in this house. And this is what it's looking like in the interior. My work here is almost done, not fully yet. We tried changing as many windows as possible, left the big ones out. For example, this one can be easily cleaned out and it will look brand new. This, however, was in a very bad condition. So this is a brand new 70 series window. So it's a quality window from Home Depot um, that will last for years and it's double panel so it's very insulated. Uh, we tried changing all the windows that we replaced with this type of window so you know get less gas bill and everything else too. This is the back entrance to the house. There's nothing that we did over here. There's nothing that needed to be done. It's staying just like that. There's a closet here and I'm starting from the back because I don't think I showed this in any shorts or anything like that. There's a, it goes into that way. So this is a pretty large size closet and uh, I'm going to want a headroom to, to hang coats, uh, you know, leave winter shoes and everything. If you use the back door here, this is the bathroom on the right. And this would be the attic door. Let's go check out the attic first because attic is another thing that I haven't really showed in the, in the shorts so this is the attic uh, this is the machine that was downstairs the water heating machine we just brought it up and installed it here so the plumbing uh, comes directly from under the house and comes straight up here and then gets redistributed to the kitchen and the bathroom this is our heating machine this thing is actually rated way higher than the houses uh, than the space of the house so we have a really good heating system and uh, just to cut cost, we just uh, use the existing vents, but put new lines in. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be a healthier breathing process here. Uh, but the attic is very large. I'm standing fully here. And uh, that's the front of the house. And this is what the attic is looking like. There are some lines here for electrical, uh, but nothing, nothing that much going on here. Uh, they probably brought it in to install some lights. There is a light here, but that's about it for the attic. This was a back window. So as you guys know, there was an extension to the house and there are so many trees that my drone actually doesn't want to go through this. Getting off the attic here. Um, again, that's the back door. Let's check out the bathroom here. We tried to keep things as serviceable as possible because I know the pain of tearing things apart to service things. So these are the shadow well for the entire bathroom. This is going to be right under the mirror that's going to be installed here. So, you know, it'll be hidden, but when you need it, you have it right here. And, you know, the amount of opening is really great. So any kind of work, any kind of fishing that we have to do, even if we have to replace these parts, uh, we can get to it easily. We tiled up the bathroom here. These are the tiles that we got from Rochester from, I think, block 10. We did shrink the window down to a manageable size. So nothing gets ruined uh, with water. So this is what the tub and shower is looking like. I just have to put a cap on that thing to close that up. And over here in the back, we not only have a little space to put shelves and stuff uh, so people can store their towels and other things. And also, obviously, you know, we can break into it and get to the plumbing very easily as well, uh, if needed in the future. Uh, this is the toilet. This is a round toilet. I hate round toilet, but it fits in here pretty nice. Uh, so we just went with the round toilet. And then this is the sink, very uh, generic sink from Home Depot. Uh, this is it for the bathroom. So getting out of the bathroom, I don't know what this room is actually for. It's just here, very awkward, but very useful because you can get to so many doors through this thing. And then we are here in the kitchen. This is what the sink looks like. Uh, again, this has to be cleaned out, of course, but uh, this is a new cabinet and a new sink because obviously the old one was metal and it was very hard to keep. The windows need to be cleaned out and then it'll look pretty nice. We did do the stains on the uh, trims and everything. Um, so it looks a little bit better, a lot better actually from before. We did the floor, as you can see, the floor is all done. And uh, this is what the uh, first bedroom looks like. 
this would be directly with the kitchen which is very awkward and weird and also with the pantry so this is the pantry here and as you can see the pantry has two doors you can use this as a room closet here or you can actually use this as a pantry for the kitchen maybe this is not even a bedroom who knows it could it's probably not a bedroom either i don't know uh, people change things around over the years that you know the original things that the house was meant for is all here and there so it's hard to distinguish things this is the other room uh, walking right out of the kitchen this would be the dining room i would say the dining area because the, this is separated by an arc uh, that separates the living area here or you know i would say the lobby of the house here lobby-ish kind of thing this is uh, for reference this is the main door and these are the dining and living this is a very long stretch here so the house is pretty long but it's very narrow as well so this is the wall that it starts from and then we have the bedroom here and that's the outer other outer wall of the house so this is the uh, first bedroom this is um, the main door is on the other side of that that's the front window this bedroom is very very small this is the uh, window in it it's functional it's just dirty but it's functional this is a very small bedroom and going off to the side here is going to be the other bedroom now this bedroom is too long and then too skinny as well because it's too long it looks very skinny this is what it looks like and it has a pretty big closet as well there you go and uh, the closet also has a light that i didn't install yet but this room was but this room was very weird there was an there was a switch here uh, that I blocked off that I thought led to a line over there in that corner of the room, but they weren't actually connected and both were live. So this probably was a switch for something else, uh, maybe a light somewhere there that they took off afterward, but I couldn't find anything. So I blocked that off and then I blocked this off just in case whoever lives here wants to mount a TV or something, then we can add some outlets over there although there's some outlets over here. Then I added some of these new lights that was existing here. I did wanna you know, go through and uh, put some recess lights, but uh, we didn't have the time to do that, so I just left it as is. This is the uh, dining room, of course. The dining area has a huge window here as well. And uh, since the house has windows like everywhere on every side, it has a lot of good lighting. And since we also changed out as many windows as possible, it's gonna be a lot better insulated, especially in the bedrooms. So this is what the interior of the house is looking like. Now let's walk to the outside. So this was the back part of the house and this portion we couldn't get to yet. Uh, we don't have an access to it. I believe the door was here because we have new sidings on this thing. So they probably just blocked off the door and put sidings on. Outside of the house, we did do the paint work um, this is two-tone paint uh, matching the houses in the neighborhood. Uh, Army green is a secondary and we kept the old color but a little lighter uh, for the original color. The roof here on this side is done. This is brand new. We had to do it because if we didn't do it, uh, we weren't going to be able to keep the insides because there were way too many leaks in the uh, on the roof. And the roof was very old as well. so. We had to get that changed out. This is the uh, outside and this is the porch. It's all painted. We did have to replace a few things around here because the condition here was very bad and those things were falling apart, the railing. So we did the railings new and we did this part new and just painted off everything to match the rest. Coming off to the side, uh, this is the other side. We did do the paintwork here. We did take off some of the guards for some of the windows that we replaced. It just doesn't look good. Um, just looks like a jail, kind of. But we did replace the back part of the roof. And now we just have to finish this part of the roof when the weather gets better uh, and there's less rain and everything. Of course, I took some drone shots and I'll include that in the video as well so you guys can see the house and the neighborhood better. So if you guys have any questions about this whole process, this whole house thing, 
and this whole shorts or this playlist, anything at all, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. All of this work was DIY and most of the work was done by my family and myself. So everything that you see here is probably not gonna be super great. And as DIYers, I'm very proud of this work. There's obviously a lot of room for me to improve because I just got into it. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, I'm open to those too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.